my friends i want to welcome you today in this week's weekend special as i mentioned a little bit in last weekend's weekend special i want to do a household item in in this weekend special series where i take on one of the objects that i have lying around in my house and try to model it i picked this fan might be a good thing to do so let's go ahead in today i plan to do the fan only not the whole thing today i want to do the fan and maybe next week if i get some time we will work on the rest of the body it could be two or three videos but today i will be working on this fan the middle part only let's get started with image processing so i have the fan right in front of me and I have a slight calipers that I'm gonna go go ahead and then measure things of the real thing. Now I see the distance between this point and this point. It says 123.5 on my slight calipers. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say it 125. All right. And now that this image is not perfect, it is a little bit warped. The perspective is uh, is not there so uh, we'll have to be like you know go with the best case and i want to keep it on x y plane i want to start with this middle part this middle part is a cylindrical shell it's about 41 millimeter in diameter and it has a very subtle um, and a sloped wall so we won't worry about the wall right now let's go ahead and then make a cylinder so okay we have not updated the center of this image so let's go ahead and do that you can see there is a little marking in the middle i want to place it on there all right so there is the cylinder that that, that was going to be the center and the radius is 20 so it says 41 so 20.5 would be more appropriate but the image looks like a little bit better let's go with 20 let's keep it simple for us yeah all right and then the height let me go ahead and take a measure on the height of the cylinder which is about 16 millimeter so the height is 16 we will go with 16 and there is a little curvature like a little fillet around the edge we will work on that later so we got the center so far and the center is hollowed out from the bottom so i'm gonna go ahead add this one and make a hollow so thickness i'm going to say it's three millimeter thick um was it going outside it's going outside we want to make it inside uh, i can see if i can do it here yeah i can do that there all right so that's our center of the fan and blades where it will be attached to the and now let's work on the fan blade so we have six of those and i'll be creating only one then i'll be replicating them using lattice so let's worry about one right now i will be using fire a uh, helix a, a, a helix to actually shape the blade and a helix it has a um, few things that we will have to put in so the height is pretty simple it could be 16 um, because the height was 16 and i don't want it 16 right now let me say i'm gonna make it 14 and the radius is 20 from this so this is the radius that we, we want to blend that in let's go ahead and make it 20 and pitch let's see where this comes Pitch. let's make it 50 for now and see if it is there 
the created close let's see where that there so now that we see it we can work on the pitch if we want to do some update um, so now it is 50 how about 60 okay it kind of like moved up so if you want to make it steeper so pitch is the is the slope so to speak um, of the blade so if you uh, if i make it 25 that's like a pretty flat pitch this like the pitch is the distance between this curve and if anything comes around so that's the distance between those i want to make the distance a little bit bigger because i want to, the blades to be and uh and it's steeper than like you know screw pitch it's not a screw it's a it's a fan blade all right and i i said i would keep a millimeter of cushion at the end so i want to make that at one so now it's about so let's take a look at from here so now it's about a millimeter from the bottom millimeter from the top so that's our first helix and let's go ahead and make a copy of that paste it so we have two of them on the second helix i want to place that helix at the end of say here so that this is the beginning I want to make it here and that distance from my object is 41 42 millimeter the helix already has 20 millimeter radius we'll have to add 42 to that so 20 plus 42 there so that's the bound so these are the two boundary edges for the helix all right and what i want to do i want to make an object out of these two let's go to loft take these two objects and create a solid so now you can see that's our fan blade they thick that's a that's kind of the surface one of the surfaces right all righty now that's the surface our blade definitely has some thickness uh, the blade that i have in front of me it has about one millimeter thickness Ooh, that's a pretty thin blade okay uh 1.1 1 .1. i'll keep this simple and make it one so i want to do so i'm going to rename that as blade surface and i want to make a 3d offset of that object right and it's going up now by one millimeter works fine with me I want to hit this button it says fill offset that will fill this up make it a solid so here which it was surface becomes blade thickness all right let me hide this surface we don't need that one right now now this is a full blade but if you see one of these blades it has some curvature in it and i want to work on that so what i want to do i want to right click on it transform and then rotate this object that should do right so that's a little relocated but we will take the hint from there actually let's see if we can make some adjustment all right so we want to do a footprint of this blade and i want to do that from a sketch on the top surface and let's go ahead and draw we probably don't need to attach them here probably can keep them open so this is this edge which will be radius 20 from our previous dimension which is matching with the 
core all right now this will be pure guess and i will be using the image in the background to actually help me with this so what i want to do i want to go with generic curves i could see this is a curve and this is another one an arc this is corner arc and this is kind of that kind of binds everything now first thing first i want to make them tangent to each other so that way they kind of have a smooth shape there so that's these two will not be tangent if anything these two actually would be kind of uh, in radial fashion but let's not worry about that all right and now let's go ahead and then adjust them and then make it here okay I'm gonna go ahead and then make this radius as what so now it says 381 I want to make it 75 because kind of we will come back to this in a moment on this one how much does it say it says 51 say 50 making them round figure 7.85 I want to make them 8 and how about this one this says 92 yeah 90 this is a little of five i want to make it four it's a little sharp right and how about this one 65 that's kind of binds everything but this one does not so i am going to see this will probably be a little smaller so 65 oh that's too small no, that that kind of makes sense. All right, and this will be the eighty. So I'm going to say this is pretty close to what I'm looking at. So select all the centers and lock all of this and this one okay that's a fully constraint so on the centers all we did was like find those and then hit this lock that will update two constraints to that point and so that's our boundary I'm gonna say sketch boundary so if we have to update the boundary we'll have to come to come to this sketch now the trick is i want to extrude that for a way tall make it like really tall maybe not that tall but taller than what you need now there is the thickness right and here is the outside boundary i can see one problem already which is the thickness the footprint is kind of stepping out of our main body to cut so let's go ahead and update that so it will be helix 2 that's down this edge and i want to say radius i want to make it 65 so that's kind of so this is the radius that we updated as the outer boundary uh, i can go ahead and then update this as much as i want i want that to outside of this footprint and now now that everything kind of blends in select this one and select this one these two objects i want to keep the common part of it so intersection and that way okay i know what happened so here i think there is a conflict in this at this area so i am going to correct that i want to make this one say 15 so closing it in and now let's see if it worked so just putting them on edge kind of making it a little tough so now i want to keep these two and 
make an intersection now i want to keep this so that's my fan blade okay so if we learned a new thing today putting them both at the same location kind of made cricket a little jumpy anyway we got that passed so there it is that's our fan blade the first one and we have six more to do so let's go to i am going to rename that as fan blade i am going to that's why we are in the renaming make it consistent i'm going to go to the lattice to workbench and make a quick polar array of total six now the object is where we are at so that's where we want to replicate the whole thing and that's when we say we would have to make the radius zero all right and now take the fan blade take the polar array uh, make a copy so here populate with copies now we can go ahead and hide these two and there it is that's our fan pretty simple i want to make this a to make a compound of fusion and this is our fan blades and this is the center make these two a common and make make it fan so that's our final object in this video that's the end of it next video we i'll try to create the mesh outside uh, both front and back and i'll be using lattice 2 and mirror workbench on that one so hopefully i will see you there thank you for watching bye